I hope you find a solace and comfort here. So, fall is finally upon us. Today, I'm going to show you what I did to sort of transition myself from summer to fall. I started off by making my bed and changing the cushions to the colors of autumn. I also started embroidering my cushions, which I haven't been successful so far, but I will try my very best to finish it next week. This is my first time trying embroidery, so I'm excited to see the finished outcome. This is what it looks like so far. I've also changed my throw to the colors of autumn to kind of match my cushions. After this, I headed downstairs to start my day. Here is my mom opening the blinds. I then made myself a cup of tea, and this one is an Irish cream loose leaf tea. And I'm all about British and waste, so this tea bag is a really good thing to have. I love tea in the morning. It warms my body, and the smell of tea, especially this one, lifts my spirit. I filmed this on a sunny Sunday morning, and I took advantage of the warmth of the sun. and the beauty of this light and how it created shadows to make this video more alluring. I started reading Where the Crowdeds Sing and I'm only in the second chapter. My work schedule has been hectic lately and I'm still trying to find balance between watching the shows that I want to watch, reading the books that I want to read, creating the crafts that I love doing, cooking, cleaning, and also spending time with my loved ones. What about you? Are you on the same page as me? Do you also sometimes feel that there is not enough time in a day? One of the ways of how I avoid juggling everything is by scheduling and planning my tasks and the things that I want to do on a weekly basis and I mainly do this on a Sunday to set my week ahead and then I break it down on a daily basis. Here I am just writing my work schedule. I still work in shifts so here I'm just writing down my schedule and this includes the things that I'd love to do, such as filming for YouTube, editing, doing crafts, and what movies I should watch in that day, and which day I want to read my book. I've been journaling digitally, but since my work includes facing the computer for a long period of time, I tried to cut down my screen time, and so I decided to journal in a traditional way. And, and this notebook and pen are gifts from my friend and work colleagues. I wrote down what I was grateful for, and that was the sunlight, the new mercies of the morning, and the ability to wake up, and also the good health of my friends, my family, and I. And for brunch, I made myself some french toast, and mm, how I love the smell of cinnamon, especially this season. I then drizzled it with some maple syrup and added some berries. Today, I have set aside my summer clothes and placed my autumn clothes on my clothing rack. I've decided to change my consumer habits by stopping fast fashion shopping. Therefore, most of these clothes are drifted from a local charity shop. I 
also water some of our ender plants. This aloe vera, which we have for years, is still thriving and spreading new leaves. And this parlor pump is a new addition to our home. I purchased this dark calathea after I graduated uni, which was three years ago. And this plant, which I don't know the name of, we call it bonsai. And it's been with us for seven years now. And this ficus, ficus, I can't pronounce it. But um, here I'm just cleaning the leaves. Yeah, I've also watered them. And this is in my room. This is the leaves that fell. And I've had it for about more than five months now. Later that evening, I lit a candle. And this candle smells like chocolate, as if you've entered M&M's room. I love painting my nails, and these nail varnishes are actually given to me by my friends. And they're such cute colors, and I feel like they're my signature nail colors. So I started off by putting a base coat, which is technically a top coat, but I feel like they do the same thing. So I just did that. For the nail color, I used the shade 487 Rouge Fatal. And pardon my French, I can't pronounce it, but hey, we tried. And some of the edges are annoying me here, I didn't realize, but later on I fixed that. And so while I am painting my nails, I thought I would chat with you. I'll tell you what my favorite thing is about autumn. And so here we go. I love the smell of cinnamon, as I mentioned earlier. I love the colors of the leaves and how they change and fall and the autumn breeze and soup and warm foods. What about you? What are the things that you love about this season? And while I continue to paint my nails, I thought I would share a little anecdote. I remember when I was still in university, my best friend Christine and I were on a train on a late November afternoon to go to London Winter Wonderland. And as we sat on the train, our eyes were fixed on the window trying to pinpoint every column of autumn leaf. There were dark amber, bright and burnt orange, green, yellow, brown, and as we were chatting, she shared a quote that she read on Facebook and it said something like It's so strange that autumn is so beautiful yet everything is dying and I still ponder about it every autumn How things have to fall down and rest in order for it to bloom beautifully again What are your thoughts about this one? I would love to know. Thank you for joining with me in this video and I shall see you next week. Take care and thank you.